Hi folks, how are you? Friday, April 24th, I had one trade on the Q's options and we'll go over that real quick here. So here are my trades. I opened the position at 10.01. I sold the 2.09 put um, credit, two point wide credit spread, collected 47, closed it at 10.38 for 19. So nice trade. And let's go over that real quick. So cues, take a look here. I'll use the replay function. This is a two minute chart straight from the open. So pre-market highs, pre-market lows, this 210 area. That was the low of yesterday, 210.10, and the low of pre-market 208, which was also the low of the previous trading session. So very important to mark in your levels before you trade, guys. So we moved up and down, first leg down. We came up a little retrace here, and basically, we had this higher low to watch. It was around 210.50 that this uh, five minute higher low that we were watching pre-market. So I don't just look at the Q's charts. I like the NAS 100 USD and the SPX 500 USD for a futures chart data. They're very useful on trading view, but I'm showing you Q's now because that's actually what I traded. So again, you can see we bounced off of that 209.50 handle for a lower high. And now take a look at this. So we had one leg down, a retest of the moving average, another leg down, another retest of the moving average. Now, right away, we tried for a third leg down here. Volume wasn't nothing special. And basically the bid was holding around this 209.50. And then it was 209 and three quarters that I was watching for. And I was watching the bid just hold there. And I said, you know what? This is a decent area for a long. We tried once, twice, a third time, failure on the third time. I'm gonna go along here and expect at least a couple of legs up because I've seen this pattern happen many times before. So you can see that when we came up to the moving average here, the market, I guess shorts tried to enter on this moving average. It was around the 210.20 to 210.30 handle right there. And you can see there's a nice volume spike there. So definitely some shorts tried to enter that as being a lower high. It moved down, held the bid at 209.75, and then we pushed higher. So tech was stronger today, financial was weaker. That's why I decided to go along the tech. And nice push up there, all the way up to our 210.50-ish, 210 and three quarters, and then it was 211, and I was watching all of this as it was happening. So basically, as we pulled back to the 210.60 area here, I was putting in a protective stop on my short strike. Sometimes with the uh, spread orders, it can glitch out. And even if you, it's not really about the stop orders, but I don't really trust the smart routing system 100%. So I would rather protect the position by putting on a stop on the short strike. Got it? Cool. So I put in a break even stop on my short strike, even though it was nowhere close to the break even. So I think that my average price on the 209, I sold it for $75. And up here it was trading around $40, $50. So no reason to cut that trade. So I just put the break even stop on the short strike just in case, you know? And I left it there and I let the trade run. And that was it. So we saw another leg up here. Now, as we were moving up to test this 211.50, I said, okay, I'm gonna start looking to take some profit on this trade here because you can see we saw a leg up. Our high of pre-market was 211.68. And I ended up cutting the trade right here at 1038 as i showed you on the trade log 1038 i was out of that trade as we saw the 211.50 offer holding up there pretty much the high of the day as well that 211.50 offer was holding so i said you know what i'm going to start putting in an order to take profit on this trade and that's what i did i took profit and then i just started watching i was watching the moving average after that around the 211 handle no buyers at the moving average here we just sold right below it Caught some buyers very briefly here at 211.50, and again, they failed too. Now, there was an interesting trade down here. Take a look at this. Q's moved down to just right above the 210 area, okay? And I was watching Apple right at the same time. Apple, it was 278.50 at this same level, and we're watching the bid at 278.50. It dropped once, it tried to move lower, moved higher, and then it tried a second time to move lower, and then it failed, and on the second time it failed and moved lower and regained that bid, that's when we saw a huge skyrocket move short squeeze that, that pretty much squeezed out any shorts that entered under 211, I'd say. So take a look at this right here, boom. We held that bid at 210.25. That was a nice trade and it would have been based off of this 210 support. So I said, I was watching this chart, I said, you know what, 210, we're moving lower. It's likely that if, can, if it can get below 210, then longs are gonna be under pressure from here. But if we hold 210 and hold this bid, most likely it's gonna move up and try to squeeze some shorts out. So 
look at what happened. We moved up for a couple of legs here up to 211. So nice long trade there. And I was actually watching the 212 calls on the queues right there. And the low was around 26 cents here and it went back up to 50 cents. So that was 100% moving the contract right there. You could have grabbed it for about 30 cents here, $35 maybe. And then it moved up to about $50. Nice little profit there for a scalp. Again, a double held bid, nice area for a long, double held offer, nice area for a short, that type of stuff, you know. And then of course we moved down now and you know, now we're in a tightening range going into lunchtime, nothing special there. So the trade was in the morning here and uh, not getting greedy, definitely looking to take profit and protect that trade, you know, putting in those stops where you need to, no getting greedy, you know, and look at this, I mean, that's flawless executions right there, it's just going with the flow of the market, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, that's my trade review for today, I wish you all the best, I was actually recording the tape too, so I'm going to study my tape um, after the close today, and probably over the weekend, all right guys, so I wish you a great day, enjoy your weekend, take care.